Welcome everybody back to some No Man's Sky. Moose Gaming here. Uh, we are at a space station. Yeah, uh, that's 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 where we are. Um, so the last we left off, we had to do work for the scientist and for the overseer. Well, I have already done that. Um, so we now have, uh, let's see here. Yes, we, we now have the blueprint for the microprocessor. Uh, and we can build the refiner. So, uh, we do need to find some tritium, which we can just get that from space rocks. But we'll just take a look in the GTT here real quick. Nope, they don't have any. Okay. So we'll just have to go get some from space rocks. Which is, that's eh, no big deal. carbon nanotubes. We have no carbon, so let's we'll go down to a planet for that. Uh, let's see what kind of planet is this right here. Foaming planet? I don't think we're going to find too much carbon on that planet. Uh, what is this over here? A rotting planet. Activated copper. So it's going to have some aggressive storms. What do we have here? Solanium. Let's go over there. Um, I did also install the hazmat gauntlet so we can actually start picking some of the plants as well. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's going to use matricium. Uh, maybe we can make it to the planet. No. I'll have to shoot more rocks. That's fine. Flying the starship? Are you going to tell me about how to fly the starship? I know full and well how to fly my starship, thank you very much. services are up yet. No, they are still down. So even though I named this system, it, it's possible that it could already be named by somebody else. Now, I had a thought about things I could do on this save. And the thought that I have is although I cannot there is there at the time at the time there was no um 
teleporter. Oh, look at them little striders. There was no teleporter at the space stations, but we could still use the waypoint feature and try to revisit some of those old systems and see how they change. all of those old systems are still in our discoveries list. Okay, so let us get some carbon here so we can make these two carbon nanotubes. No, we don't. Wow, that did not give us a whole lot of carbon, those plants. Interesting. find a different system, or a different planet. This one is not giving much card. Oh, wait, I see something over there. Loading crystals. Now, in 1.0, these were not called floating crystals. These were called Omega. Omega. And they were worth quite a bit of money. Um, and they were not just set in one spot on a planet. They were actually all over the planet. They weren't just in one specific location. So, and I did find one of them planets, and I did harvest a lot of the crystals. Um, oh, hey, look, there's a Scottish rod down there. Oh, he's even got the pincher claws like a crab. Look at that. We are going to name him Scottish Rod right now. Something? Yes, something. No, Scottish Rod. Perfect. Yes, that is a Scottish Rod. Now, in 
case you don't know. Floating crystals give you glowing mineral. And if you hit square on it, it gives you some useful resources. My inventory is full. Let's just get rid of that paraffinium. So it gave us aronium. Two aroniums. Which is good, because we can we can dirty browns, granite. That's all stuff that we would need to make stasis devices. So we could hold on to those until a later time when we get the blueprint and then we can make stasis devices. planet is this here? This was the rotting radioactive foaming planet. Well, that looks like a lush flourishing planet. Yes, let's go there. Dunst. Dunst. I dunst did it. I am so dunced with you. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking about is... All of these other systems... Were systems that we discovered in 1.0. Maybe like this one four days ago, four days ago, four days ago, four days ago. Even though it says four days ago, let's see, this should be like a week ago. A week ago, this was where we woke up. This is where we woke up. only three planets there at the time and we would have woke up on a lush but none of these are lush so it's interesting I think this was the one that no, I'm not too sure Interesting. Yeah, it, it would be nice if discovery services were up. Because then I would know a little bit more. Like, if those systems have already been discovered by somebody. Then again, I'm wondering if... Because I updated this file from a 1.0 save that had no services. I'm wondering if this save will never get services. I guess the only way to test that theory is I would have to start a fresh save and see if it has discovery services. It's one theory. Let's 
see. Let's just throw this in there. Oh, we can't. What do we have in there? All oh, the runaway mold. Ah, I got nowhere to put it. I can't delete it. Uh, residual goop. Got one microprocessor. Heck is that? Oh, he just chomped down on something. Stevie. Oh, that must be a turtle over there. Yeah, oh, there he is. Beautiful planet. Uh, let's just. Oh, you know, I have a nutrient processor. Well, that's right. You know what? We did. We did make sure that the nutrient processor was one of the first things that we grabbed because we wanted to see if the storage had 10 slots, which it does. It only has 10 slots, which is kind of a bummer. Um, because current, uh, what am I, did I only need one? Might have only needed one. Oh, but I don't have enough Trintium now. Or I do, it's in the ship. There's the ship. The ship's way over there. Oh, there we go. It was all in the ship. Sweet. Now we got our rocket boots. Just good. It's good. I like the rocket boots. I know a lot of people do not. Hey, we got a turtle here. Very nice turtle. I know a lot of people do not like the rocket boots, but I for one like the rocket boots. What? Oh my gosh, the turtle is like bright white. It's like glowing. It looks so freaking cool. Huh. Too bad we can't have those as pets. Be pretty cool. It's moving too fast for the grass to render there. Star Bramble over here. Core bags. We learned a core bags word for is. Oh look, tiny Star Brambles. Sure, we're flying low. This is a absolutely gorgeous planet. Absolutely gorgeous. Like the portal core 
coordinates to this planet, it is down there in the lower left hand of the screen. You can pause the video. You're more than welcome to come here, put down a base, build. Beautiful planet, beautiful system. Oh, that's right. I did find a traveler here. And I picked up his grave, so we can go grab his grave. I think that is that was that desert place. Ooh, aggressive sentinels. Well, no wonder why his grave's there. I mean it's aggressive sentinels, right? So let us take a look here. We got a lot of stuff. This Atlas Stone, we really don't need it. We could actually sell that. Oh yes, let's pull this out of here. And let's continue cooking this residual goo. I know it takes a little while to cook that stuff up, but... Eh. Just cook it while we're on the move. It's a honey pot plant. I wonder if I can. Ooh, and it's got aggressive sentinels because it's got gravitational balls. Hey, where'd the grave go? I'll try and find me. Hey, go away. Live. I don't want nothing to do with you guys. Get out of here. Oh, I got no launch fuel, right? Can I make some launch fuel? Let's take a look here. I got the hydrogen jelly ball. And I cannot make any launch fuel. I can. If I do this... There we go. Let's just, let's just fly low and see if we can't find a honey pot. And see if maybe it has some some bees flying around it. Oh, honey pot right there. Perfect. It does, in fact, have some bees flying around it. Absolutely stunning. See if we can get a picture of them. Uh, they look very paper like, but it is, it is, it is No Man's Sky after all. Let's just get a nice little picture. Can we put the sun over there? I wonder what that will do. See how that looks. Maybe over there. Maybe straight up, what do we get? Eh. eh, maybe somewhere like right there. Very nice.
This is very nice, very cool. Uh, now the first person that I seen that from was uh, KJPC Gaming. Oh, what's the nose on that guy? Um, KJ did a video with uh, Lava Lamp 64 showing the honeybees. So that is really cool. I'm glad I was able to find a planet that has them as well. Oh, you know what? Let's stop and grab some of this here. No, because we're going to need all this stuff anyways. Once we start talking to the overseer. And you know what? We could, we could um, mine these and it will actually give us sticky honey. As well as the carbon. Sticky honey. Just run around and grab the cactus flesh while the sentinels are shooting at us. It's no big deal. shot at that cactus. <laughs> it's funny. Awesome. Okay. Set out to do what we need to do. We got that glyph. system here. At least I think that's our home system. I do really like the new warp effects too. They do look very, very cool. Discovered it. Is this not where my base is? Oh, it is where my base is, yes. Could have I renamed this though. Oh, I named the planet. Okay, the system's already updated. Squiffy. Doesn't know where to go. Scientist is ready to talk to me, I do believe. Unknown life form, I passed my test. I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have data to operate on? An observatory would supply some. Think of all that might be done. Corvax appears to have no memory of our previous encounters. Uh, I do not know if they feel reconnected with Convergence, or if they simply do not recall what they said. 
should visit an observatory for them and see the structure analysis they claim to enjoy. I look forward to seeing the results, Traveler. Okay. I am all marshmallowy. Oh, there we go. As soon as I said I was all marshmallowy, it goes back to the way it's supposed to be. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay, let's see where he would like us to go. Uh, three minute, twenty seconds. Oh, it's not that far, really. Okay. Sure, there's a lot of, uh, islands in the sky here. Uh, you want us to look for it? It's right there. I see it. Wow. So... Wow, back there, the colors, they changed. That look, that was so cool. Of this planet, the way the colors are. Red and green. Data siphon installed accessing. The observatory appears to have been calibrated for a single purpose to locate the interfaces of the beam. Of a being the Corvex call Atlas. After many years, the inhabitant of this facility succeeded in their quest, disappearing without a trace. See, it looks green and then it looks purple. Oh, hey, this is a landed pilot. I haven't seen one of them in a little bit. He has the X-Class modules, which we don't have. Oh, what class is it? It's a C-Class. I'm not worried about it. Nanites. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. And that's down there. We'll grab that. Oh. Just get rid of those. Give me the news, I got a bad case of loving you. Traveler, while you have been absent, Corvax has detected anomalies. I feel alone. Perhaps the data will have an answer. This data contains no answer, Traveler. Merely these blueprints for living glass and a beacon. Virgin is absent, Traveler. We... I can feel myself slipping further. Perhaps that beacon may be of some use. Construct one, and the Convergence may find me again. Corvax is grateful, Traveler. 
I shall also work on my own solution while you investigate the beacon. So he wants us to, to build a safe beacon. We need one more metal plate. Okay. Uh, let's see, we can, we can put this, we can put this right next to you, um, so that you can, you can talk to it and study it, because you talk about how it's your child, so. Okay, let's talk to you now. Is the beacon constructed, Traveler? Um, well, it's sitting right next to you. We shall wait. It may take time for the convergence to find me. My own research provide proved fruitless. It yielded only blueprints. Autonomous mining unit and atmospheric harvester. Those atmospheric harvester and mining unit plans prompted a thought. What if they could be friends for the beacon? What if they could make our own convergence? They shall be my children, Traveler. I have transmitted a crafted intelligence to the beacon, so they might live and connect as Corvax do. But it cannot see the world. Bring me scan data so they may teach it. Okay, so he wants some scan data. Which I'm sure I already have scanned data to give him. So we'll just chill right here because it might get a check mark. No, he wants us to scan creatures. Okay. Uh, we do have also. Uh, base computer archives. Fifteen percent search archives. My exosuit has directed me to a crashed starship. It controls react to my touch. I can only assume it belongs to me. No memory of it, and no sense of before. Additional data available. Save point. So, if we build the save point, need the metal plate, and we need dihydrogen jelly, we need to get some more dihydrogen. Oh, right there. Side here now. Ooh, almost enough. There we go. A 
Oh, one more metal plating. I need more rocks. archives will continue and they will be ready in an hour and 29 minutes so what I am going to do is clean up my inventory number one for the next time and uh, I need to get more salvage data still um, yeah I got a few things I can do before the next episode I want to make sure my inventory is clean, because I know how a lot of people don't like dirty inventories. So, uh, until then, thank you all very much for checking this video out. And if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It would be most appreciated. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.